it going YouTube? Uh, I was going to film this video outside. Uh, it's a really nice day out today. It's finally sunny for once, but it's really windy, so you wouldn't be able to hear much of what I'm saying. Um, so I'm just going to do a little video right here at my coffee table. And today we're going to learn about this compass right here. Um, it goes by many names. Mine says engineering directional compass. Uh, a lot of people call them military compasses. And the correct term is a lenstatic compass. So that's what they're officially called, I believe. And there's a lot of different components on this compass um, that you may not be familiar with their use. So I'm just going to explain how this compass works. Because the other day I was going through a Scummy's budget bug out bag and he pulled out a compass and I realized that he doesn't know how to use a compass. And uh, so I'm going to make this video because I think there's a lot of confusion behind these compasses right here. So uh, it's closed in your bag like this. Open this thing up. Um, this is for your thumb. You want to slide your thumb through there so you can hold the, the compass steady and flat. Um, so not only does it keep your compass closed, but it's also meant to uh, hold it on your thumb like that. And uh, once you open it up, let me get this off my thumb. So it's got this lid on it with a little wire. Um, I don't know if you can see that in the camera. My camera is kind of crappy, but there's a little wire in there. And uh, it also has this component right here. This is like a little magnifying lens, and there's a little notch taking it out, taken out of it right there. So what you want to do is don't open it all the way up like I see most people do. Um, everyone thinks you open this thing all the way up and hold this thing open. I'm trying to tighten this. It's getting kind of, kind of loose and floppy. Um, so everyone thinks that you open this all the way up and like, I don't know, maybe you aim this at the stars or the moon or the sun or something. I got no clue. But uh, what you really do is you tilt this at an angle like that because you're looking directly through this magnifying glass onto the compass. So you also notice that there's this green line right here, the long one. You want to take that and you want to line this up with that little mark right there because that means it's aligned with this wire. So um, all this compass is used for is finding the direction of an object in the distance. Um, I mean you can navigate with it just by simply holding it flat and looking at it. That'll tell you you're headed uh, northeast right now. And uh, so you can use it like that. But the point of all these different components on it is to aim it at an object in the distance and it will tell you the direction of that object. So what you want to do is uh, let's look at these vases, my wife's beautiful vase collection. And let's line it up with the wire. And then you want to look through this lens. Get the camera right. And line it up with that green line. It's kind of hard to do through the camera. Works better with your eyeball. But as you can see, uh, we are... Um... Dang, I can't do this with the camera. We're like 14 degrees northeast. So that's what that's used for. You look through this lens onto the compass and you figure out the direction of an object in the distance. Just like that. Um, you want to have this thing closed up like that. You don't want this all the way up, all the way open because, I mean, then you're looking through here and it's no good. It's not, it's, it's not helpful. Um, so yeah, that's what the different components of this compass are used for. It's basically just for finding the direction of a object of interest. Um, and you can use it as a regular compass. But uh, I see so many people have these in their bags and they don't know how to use them. They don't know what they're for. And then they also have um, a million other types of compasses as well. So I mean, one compass is enough. You don't need to go crazy. And it seems like everything nowadays comes with a compass anyway. Um, picked up this whistle, has a compass on it. Um, I like this whistle though because it has the thermometer, so that's really the reason I bought this. As you can tell, I like to keep my house kind of cold, it's right around 60 degrees. And the other cool thing about this compass is that um, there's a magnifying glass in there, so you can. It's also like a fire starter. Let me get this open. This thing's cool. I love this thing. Um, magnifying glass, you can start some fires, compass, whistle, thermometer. Got it at Walmart for like three bucks. So, um, I mean, all, all the compasses work the same. Uh, you got 
got this compass. I got this with my crank radio paracord stupid bracelet with a compass on it. Um, and this came with my axe and my knife. It's like a little survival keychain with a little compass on it. So everything you buy nowadays comes with a compass. You don't need to go out to the store and spend freaking $15 on one of these. Uh, I mean, one of these is going to work fine. I mean, all you're really doing is uh, finding the direction you're heading. So you can use this compass just as well as you can use this. And honestly, I can't think of a reason why I would ever need to find the direction of an object, uh, especially in like a bug out situation. I mean, down to a very uh, accurate degree, you know? I mean, how, how many times have you been in the woods and been like, man, I wish I, wish I knew what direction that, that tree up there was. Too bad I don't have my directional compass. I mean, that's never happened to me. So I honestly don't even think I really need this in my bug out bag, especially since I have like all this freaking junk. Well, this I don't keep in my bag. This this goes in my uh, day pack because it does have a um, tinder cord, a whistle, fire striker. So I mean, there's useful stuff on this keychain. So I keep this in my little 24-hour bag in my car, and then this one I keep um, attached to my bug out bag. So I mean, honestly. I don't even really think I need that in my bag. It's kind of overkill. But if you have one of those compasses and you weren't sure how to use it, and then now you know. And uh, it's up to you if you want to keep it in your bag or not. I'm actually probably not going to. I don't really think I need it. So, uh, survival for the poor. Uh, we like to keep it simple. I know that there's a lot of uh, words for these compasses. Um, not words, but I mean all these components have... Uh, official names and lingo but I don't know any of it I mean this is the magnifying glass this is the wire so I don't know the official terms for all this stuff but it is what it is we like to keep it simple now you know how to use a lens static compass thanks for watching don't forget to hit like if you liked it um, if you think I suck you can give me a thumbs down who cares and uh, don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching guys survival for the poor